This is going to be a short video where we're going to talk about cleaning out a BNC jack. These particular BNC jacks are off of a Sony monitor from about 1989 and I already started cleaning them so they look a little better than they did when I took them off but they were they had a pretty solid layer of oxidization. They were pretty gray looking when I took them off. This one's actually finished and spotless so I'm going to put that aside but this is uh, kind of what the final result looks like. I mean, 1989. And uh, there's a little spot of dirt on the plastic insert, but the actual um, metal contact for the center is, is spotless. And inside is clean. I'm going to show you how to, I did that. Why is it important? Um, I've seen a lot of people with issues with their vintage computers or vintage game system and having sync problems with their monitor. A lot of it comes down to using a composite video cable that is not made with coaxial cable. These cheap ones people get. Um, make sure that your composite cable is uh, at least using RG59. And, and this is a uh, this is RG59 coaxial cable and if you uh, look at it it'll say that on here and it, it comes into a uh, RCA in there but it, you could also terminate that to BNC so I'll show you how I took this uh, BNC jack apart and cleaned the center conductor which was pretty tarnished um, on the other one and not making such great connection so the uh, first thing I do is I remove the center conductor. <coughs> to remove the center conductor, I'm going to put it here in this vise. Uh, there's a lip on here, so I'll just it just sets right there. And then I'm going to just gently tighten it so that it doesn't move around. Um, then I'm just going to take this old brush. It's got a plastic handle. I'm going to put it on top of the pin. And then I'm going to take this, um, um, it's a dead blow hammer, but it's just a soft mallet really. And I'm just going to gently tap, and very gently tapping, and you'll notice that this pin will slowly start to go down into the jack, which is what, oh, there you go, perfect. It went down into the jack, and if you take the jack out, you'll notice the fork, um, coming out of the uh, other side so there's the there's the fork coming out of it there you go so all you gotta do then is just pull it out once you've hammered this down until it's flush with the thing um, I took this small pair of pliers and just uh, pulled the the fork out I mean, you can put this in your vise, but I just gave it a yank, and there it is. Um, you could see this one maybe not as bad as the other. Focus. Focus. There you go. So you can see there that this thing's got a, a good bit of tarnish on it. And if you are trying to get a better picture from a 30-year-old vintage computer or game system, that's already putting out a weaker image because it's old and it's got old components, dried capacitors. It doesn't help to have a connector that you can't really see with these BNCs it has tarnished. This one wasn't as bad as the other, but I think this was from input too. So I use Brasso. Is it the best stuff on the planet? I don't know. It's at the local store. It's cheap and it's available. It is a brass cleaner. One thing I'll warn you uh, about Brasso is never ever get it on uh, brass that's been silver plated because it will dissolve the silver plating right off the brass. But to clean brass or most other metals, it's fine. So I'm just going to put um, get some Brasso out here, you know, big glob of it like that. And then I'm, I'm just going to work it um, into it. And then I'm going to put it in this paper towel. I'm going to wipe my fingers on the paper towel so there's more Brasso, if you can see. And then I'm just going to wipe it and, and continue. And you'll, you'll see these dark colored marks 
and that's the tarnish coming off so it's really just a a process of sitting here and wiping getting the edges um, you want to get the edges uh, in between the forks so you know like these these edges here but on the inside so I take the paper towel and I, I get it in there with some brasso as well so I'm gonna clean this thing up uh, which is just gonna take me some time of sitting here and getting more brasso and a clean section until I stop getting dark colored stuff coming off and I'll be right back so there we go the uh, pins cleaned up and you can see some of the aftermath here uh, just give that a quick wipe and we'll set the pin down now as far as the jack goes um, you can put brasso all over the outside and clean it but you want to clean inside well how are you gonna do that and without getting it all inside of the insert and not being able to get it out and how you're going to clean in there so what I do is I press the insert out and then I can get in there with a q-tip or whatever and clean it so how did I press the insert out <clears throat> well to press the insert out I put the BNC jack on my vise like this uh, facing up this time <clears throat> and then I took a, uh, a tool something with a large enough end on it, so a large Torx head that's kind of bigger than the than the insert and then I placed it on it and then on top here I'm just gonna take my hammer and uh, just tappy tap tap I might have to tap kinda hard at first but not too much and then eventually it'll start moving and then you'll notice um, There we go, and it went flying <laughs> straight at the bottom of it. Hold on. There we go. And there's our uh, insert. So now you'll see we can, it's not damaged. This is just slightly crimped and it just pushed out. Um, <clears throat> so now we can clean inside of there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of. Um, it's not the cleanest looking in there. So now I'm just going to take the uh, the Brasso. I'm going to clean in there. I'm going to clean here. I'm going to use Q-tip. I'm just going to brush and clean it up. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. <clears throat> so all the parts are cleaned here as best as they're going to be. Uh, Jack has been cleaned. It's not 100% perfect. The uh, It only gets so far with the Brasso. If you look close enough, you'll see there's still... A little bit of some film or whatever on it that's just not coming off but <clears throat> excuse me it's close enough for me and uh, close enough for it's a, it's much improved for uh, 30 you know 30 year old BNC jack so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the plastic insert and it's gonna be very hard to see and you're gonna have to look carefully and feel for it but there's a flat side um, routed out or whatever into both sides of it and that corresponds with the flat sides here on the uh, on the on the jack itself so the long side goes in and it sits here and you gotta rotate it until you have it lined up just right and it's kinda hard to line it up and keep it lined up because it's it doesn't really wanna seat or anything so now you take the vise you open it up And you put the jack and the and the piece in here, and then you just slowly bring it a little little, little bit tighter until it, it feels like it's um, just enough to hold it together. And then you rotate the two pieces until you got that flat the flat sides lined up there. And then just keep trying to get that just right in the center, and then apply a little more force with the uh, with the vise and then uh, that's not going in straight so just back it off a little bit take a look kind of straighten it out it's uh, not the easiest thing but certainly doable and then you just get it you get it gotta get it right no that's not straight 
It's uh, this one wants to go in tilted, so I, I'll just try the other two flat sides until uh, see if I can drive them together here. Gotta line that up. There we go. That should do. And then once you have it, you very slowly start tightening the vise. <clears throat> Make sure that it looks right and that it's going in. And then you slowly can tighten it up. It's going to be very tight, but there you go. I'll just crank this down. And there we have it. Just keep turning. And then pop. That's it. You'll hear a little pop. <laughs> back it off and there you go. The inserts back inside. Um and that's that's just about right. Uh yeah, let me just adjust that here a little more. Centered. Beautiful. That's perfect. That's centered. And then now, in the back side of the thing, you take the, uh, on no, the front side, sorry, in the front side, you put the, the thin end of the stem, you insert it like that, so the fork is coming out like this, focus, so the fork comes out like that, and then you just basically press this in, um, close the jack up a bit, I mean the uh, vise up a bit. So now you have it sitting there, and then you can just kind of take the back end of a screwdriver or whatever, and just dip, give it a tap until it goes in. I'm just using my hand on top of the screwdriver. Bada bing, done. There it is. It's inserted again. It's coming out the back, and you'll see there's a little a little tab here that uh, comes out and that kind of, it's like the retainer tab and you're all done. Um, I, uh, at the end I take a brass brush to just get the brasso out of the threads of the uh, of the BNC jack because it they always seems to be some, no matter how much you try to clean it. And it's perfect. It's ready to go. That's uh, 30 years old and ready to solder right back to the board and uh, we'll make a great connection and get a much better picture.